Hi, I'm Collier Spring with the Avid Pro Audio team, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Avid Pro Tools S3 in this series of videos. Let's dive in, shall we? This episode is about using the S3 control surface as a standalone control room monitor controller. The S3 surface has a built-in AVB audio interface, but it can also act as a standalone monitor controller as well. In this case, I'll be using my Pro Tools HDX2 system with an HDIO and the S3 as both monitor controller and control surface. First, connect the two-channel mix outputs of the HDIO to inputs 1 and 2 of the S3. You can also connect a second two-channel audio device to inputs 3 and 4, such as an iPhone, computer audio, or a second pair of HDIO outputs for a QSend. Connect the XLR outputs of 1 and 2 to your powered monitors or monitor amplifier. Once everything is connected and powered up, press the two upright page switches to enter monitor mode on the S3 and select your input to monitor. The select key scrolls through the inputs, AVB12, IN12, IN34, back to AVB12. This assigns the AVB, the inputs 1 and 2, or inputs 3 and 4, respectively, to the monitor outputs. You can adjust the input levels on inputs 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. You can link them as pairs by holding the shift key on the S3 and pressing the encoder for each pair of inputs. You can have two separate pairs of monitors, a pair on main and a pair on alt. Level control is on the rotary encoders for main and alt outputs. The select key activates either main or alt and are exclusive. The cut function is invoked with the in key and the dim function is invoked by pressing the encoder. Global dim amount is set in preferences with the encoder on the 14th channel. You can also assign the selected monitor input to the headphone output by pressing the in key on the 14th encoder. The level control for the headphone output is the thumb wheel on the lower right front on the S3. So the S3, in addition to being an AVB interface and control surface, can also perform as a powerful and flexible standalone monitor controller. Be sure to see all the videos in this series on the Avid Pro Tools S3 and read the S3 User's Guide.